home and away spoilers, John starts to unlock his amnesia. Ever since the bushfire trials, John has been having trouble with both his marriage to Marilyn and coming to terms with what's going on inside his head. Nate thinks that talking to someone will do him good, and Alf encourages him to go through with seeing a psychologist. When John goes to the appointment, he is surprised at how young the psychologist is, and after some gentle questioning from Dr. Voss, he becomes uncomfortable and leaves. He doesn't think the young doctor has the experience to help him, and doesn't tell the truth about how the session went when he's asked. But when Alf and Jet suspect he's lying, Marilyn pays John a visit, taking Luke with her. John admits that talking about going to counseling and actually going are very different, and Marilyn says he needs to ask himself if he wants to get to the bottom of what's wrong or not. Later on, John returns to Dr. Voss and admits he's been feeling down. He says he doesn't remember anything before his father died when he was 12, and Dr. Voss tells him he could have dissociative amnesia, or memory breakdown, which could be caused by a traumatic event in his childhood. If John can find out what the traumatic event was, his memories could be unlocked. When John returns to Jet, they decide to drive out to where his childhood home was, so they can see if it triggers any memories. When they arrive, the current resident, Bede, recognizes the name Palmer and takes John and Jet to the gravesite of John's father. John gets confused by the date on the inscription, and Bede realizes he thinks his father died of a heart attack. When Bede reveals John's father died in a fire on the property, John is stunned, and Jet finds a news article that verifies the story, the story.